Ten years ago, the world was devastated by a horrifying epidemic caused by a virus called Ramazid. This virus plunged people into unbearable suffering, killing them only to reanimate their bodies as bloodthirsty zombies. The infected began wreaking havoc, attacking anything that moved, turning the dead into more of their own. A massive war erupted between the living and the undead. Millions perished in their efforts to stop the infection, but the number of zombies only grew. Several months into the pandemic, Operation Sarah commenced. A series of bombings targeting infected areas, employing heavy weaponry. The conflict left deep scars on humanity, with over two billion lives lost. The war eventually ended, but one place remained on Earth where the undead still roamed freely. That place was a private island, located off the coast of a tropical nation. The island had been transformed into a lavish resort for the rich and powerful. Those willing to pay a fortune to hunt zombies for sport. Valerie Wilton, the CEO of this resort, had gained fame for her economic strategies that helped revive the post-apocalyptic economy. She also ran a charitable foundation, Hope For You, providing aid to refugees and victims of the war. A young couple, Lewis and Melanie, arrived at the island, hoping to overcome the emotional trauma they had endured during the war. Melanie had lost her father, who had been infected, and turned into a zombie. Haunted by painful memories, she hoped that hunting zombies would somehow help her heal. Along with other guests, they were welcomed in the resort's grand lobby. Among the group were two teenage gamers, Jack and Alfie, a woman named Sadie, who had been supposed to visit with her fiancé, and Archer, a silent and enigmatic war veteran. That evening, during a formal reception, Valerie Wilton greeted the guests, speaking about how the resort was designed to help people heal from their psychological wounds. Melanie, still nervous, leaned on Lewis for support. During dinner, Sadie, visibly depressed, slipped away from the reception and began exploring the resort. She hacked into the main control room, downloading data from the server. Archer noticed her leave but didn't intervene. The following morning, the group was taken on their first zombie hunt. They were guided by a man named Tom, who meticulously explained the rules. As the hunt began and shots rang out, Melanie froze, unable to pull the trigger, as the trauma of losing her father resurfaced. Meanwhile, Archer showcased extraordinary marksmanship, taking down dozens of zombies with ease. Lewis tried to comfort Melanie, but she felt deeply shaken. That night, the group camped out. Meanwhile, the resort's tech team noticed a glitch in the security system. They dismissed it as a minor issue, but it quickly became clear that the situation was far more serious. The virus Sadie had planted in the system completely disabled the resort's defenses, allowing the zombies to breach the perimeter en masse. Chaos erupted as zombies attacked the hunting camps. A member of another group was killed, and the situation spiraled out of control. Back at the resort, panic spread. The security team struggled to hold back the onslaught, but the zombies pushed further in. Valerie locked herself in her office, watching as her staff were slaughtered by the undead. When one of her employees begged her for help, she coldly left him to die. The resort's emergency self-destruct system activated, starting a countdown. In a few hours, the island would be wiped off the map. Top scenes from the movie can be found in our Telegram or Discord channel via the link in the comments. Join us to discover many amazing scenes from other movies that we can't show on YouTube. Melanie confided in Sadie, sharing the story of her father and explaining why she couldn't bring herself to kill zombies. Suddenly, they were attacked by one of the undead. Realizing they were trapped, the group figured out that the security breach was to blame for the zombie outbreak and that they were now all in grave danger. They tried to contact the resort for help, but technical problems blocked their communication. Melanie and Sadie found shelter on top of a vehicle, but Alfie was bitten by a zombie. Jack, paralyzed with fear, watched his best friend die. The campsite had turned into a battlefield strewn with the bodies of both zombies and the fallen. The next morning, Tom informed the group that no rescue was coming, and there were only a few hours left before the island's destruction. They decided to make their way to the docks in hopes of escaping on a boat, only to discover that their transportation had been sabotaged. They had no choice but to cross dangerous territory on foot. Though Lewis distrusted Archer's leadership, Archer took control of the situation. As they journeyed, another wave of zombies attacked, and Tom was killed in the fight. Lewis, 
desperate to protect the group, killed Tom without hesitation, shocking Melanie. When they reached a communications relay, Archer began to suspect that Sadie was hiding something. She finally confessed that she had been part of an activist group fighting for zombie rights and that her mission was to expose the resort's mistreatment of the undead. However, she had been betrayed by her own people, which led to the catastrophe. Lewis blamed Sadie for everything that had gone wrong and wanted to abandon her. But Melanie, though heartbroken, chose to help her. They continued on, eventually finding a secret lab where the resort had been conducting experiments on the zombies. Inside, they saw cages filled with undead, and Archer realized that the resort had been using zombies not only for entertainment, but also for research on the virus. Suddenly, another zombie attacked them, and Jack was killed in the chaos. Only three of them remained, Melanie, Lewis, and Archer. They discovered an abandoned refugee camp that had been converted into a factory for creating new zombies. Valerie had been using the refugees to sustain the resort's operations, turning them into the very creatures hunted for sport. A fresh horde of zombies attacked the group, and Lewis, overcome by fear, abandoned the others, running for his life. Archer decides to sacrifice himself so that Melanie can escape. He charges into the crowd of zombies, distracting them and Melanie manages to flee toward the dock. There are only 16 minutes left before the island is destroyed. Melanie tries to make her way through the resort's main lobby and encounters Lewis, who confesses that he's been bitten. Realizing he has no chance of survival, he asks Melanie to leave him behind. She gives him a gun, and he takes his own life to avoid turning into a zombie. At the last moment, Melanie runs into Valerie, who tries to convince her to leave the island with her. Melanie refuses and engages in a fight with Valerie. After a fierce struggle, Valerie is killed, and Melanie barely makes it to the boat, escaping the island just seconds before it explodes. A few weeks after the incident, Melanie gives a live interview, recounting how humanity defeated the zombies but lost its humanity in the process. She exposes Valerie's organization, Hope For You, warning the world that the zombies could return. In the final shot, Melanie is seen sitting in her apartment, reflecting on the fact that her battle is not yet over.